Miss Grace here. If you haven't already, I encourage you to watch my last video where I talked about different mealtime traditions from different cultures. Because now we are going to talk about mealtime traditions from our culture or your culture. I'm gonna sit down with my brother in a minute to talk about what we think our family and our culture's mealtime traditions are. But I challenge you to think about what your culture or your family's mealtime traditions are too. They don't have to be anything big. They could be something really small, like maybe you don't have any meat on Mondays, or maybe on Sundays you have a brunch, which is sort of like a late breakfast. Maybe you have a SpongeBob SquarePants plate you always like to use. Maybe for some holidays you have a special dish that your family makes that is special to your culture. So ask your family and your friends what their mealtime traditions are and what makes mealtime special to them. So I'm gonna sit down with my brother and talk about what special mealtime traditions that we have. Hey everybody, we have a special guest today, my brother, Ali. Hi, hello, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> So, Ali, now that we have researched all about Ethiopian cultures and mealtime traditions, what are some differences between our family's mealtime traditions and mealtime traditions in Ethiopia? I would say that definitely one of the larger differences is the way we get our food. We typically use forks and spoons and knives, whereas someone in Ethiopia will probably just use their hands. That is a good one. Yeah, you know, another difference might be that um, we would have plates, whereas an Ethiopian might use a different technique. Yeah, normally they will just have one big plate, but at least our family likes to have each person gets their own plate. And then, so that begs the question, what are some similarities that we would have? That does beg the question, Allie. Some similarities that I have found during some researching is that we have bread with almost every meal at home, just like in Ethiopia, they always have that special bread, anira. Whether we have a biscuit or a hamburger bun, always something that's some type of bread. Another similarity I noticed, which I was really excited about, is that in Ethiopia, they have this really delicious avocado mango guava smoothie and on weekends when we have brunch, I love to make smoothies for the family. So that was a really cool similarity that I noticed. Wow, food can really connect us across borders and around the world. It really can. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Allie. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so last week when we learned about the different parts of a plant that we eat, we also learned about what a pie chart is. It's a way to show different types of information in an easy to read type way. So we're gonna learn a different way to display some data or some information. And this one is called a Venn diagram. So a Venn diagram compares two different things. And the purpose of a Venn diagram is to show the differences between those two things and the similarities between those two things. So a Venn diagram has two circles that overlap each other. And in each main part of the circle, you show what's different about the two things. And in the middle, where the two circles overlap, you show what is similar between those two things. So for the primary part of one circle, you'll be showing what mealtime traditions that your culture or your family has. In the main part of the other circle, you'll show what different culture has different mealtime traditions that are different from yours. And in the middle, you'll put mealtime traditions that your family and families from the other culture might share. Like maybe you all have a really long dinner together, maybe you have bread at your meals, maybe you have a lot of potatoes at your meals or some seafood. Take some time to think about it. So here is the Venn diagram I created based off the conversation I had with my brother, Ali. In the teal color, you can see all of the differences that my family does. In the red, you can see all the differences that a family in Ethiopia might do. So the first one is comparing the different utensils or the way we might eat our food. So my family uses forks and spoons and in Ethiopia, they use their right hand. 
The next one is the surface on which you eat your food. So my family each has their own plate that they eat off of. But in Ethiopia, everybody shares one big plate. And in the middle, where the two circles overlap, you have things that both cultures share. So we have bread at all meals and delicious smoothies. Now it's your turn. I want to see what Venn diagrams you make. So take some time to do some research on a different culture from your own and think about how their mealtime traditions differ from the mealtime traditions that your family or your culture has. I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you next time.